Welcome to a quick crash course in stenciling in GIMP. What do I mean? Well, this is what we're going to try and do. Let's look at stenciling. That's what I'm going to call it anyway. I don't know if that's a technical name for it. Stenciling text in the GNU image manipulation program. Stenciling text in the GIMP. And if I do this right I should be able to type in the instructions as we go. So the first thing I want to do is to open your picture. So we're going to open the picture with the GIMP and the easiest way to do this is to get your picture and drag it into the GIMP. Now I shall resize the windows because to get this recording area right I'm cramped for size. I can only record so much of my screen. So there's our picture. Now the reason I want to get the picture in is because I'm going to be adding layers and the picture size is shown up here. That one is 1005 pixels by 512 pixels high. And I could remember that figure and go layer, new layer and add it to size but if I add it on top of an existing picture, it will pick up the same size for me. Now if I select foreground colour, it's going to go in in red. So I'll cancel that and change my foreground colour and make it yellow. And then go layer, new layer foreground colour. You could make it white, you can make it a transparency. We'll go foreground colour. OK. So there is a yellow layer on top. Now the only way we're going to see we've got a couple of layers there is if we open the window for dockable dialogues and go to the layers menu. And there you can see we have two layers. They're both showing so the yellow layer is on top and it's hiding the flowers. So we'll click the eyeball there which will make that layer invisible. OK, so off, on, off, on, off, on, on. Now we can get rid of the background, the flowers, because we're going to put it back in, because we're going to flatten the image, and there's no point in flattening the image with the flowers in it. It's just we don't need it. So we'll get rid of that. So we'll delete that layer which sounds crazy but trust me this is the sequence to do it. So from the layer menu we've added a new layer in the specific colour that we wanted in the foreground colour. Then we selected the picture layer and deleted it. And we do that by right clicking on the layer. Okay. Now we're going to add text. So we'll select the text tool, add our text, and then select the font and size. So we'll go over here to the text tool, and we'll click somewhere, and then type something like flowers. Now, perhaps you see what's happened, perhaps not, but effectively I have typed in yellow on yellow. So it would have been helpful if I had changed colour first, but I can click on where the text is and drag the mouse through it and still change its colour. And let's just make it black for simplicity. And there it says flowers. Now it would have been better, wiser, if I changed the colour first by going down here and changing that to black. However, our text is now selected and I can do it from this menu where I increase the size in pixels and just make that reasonably big. Go in the corners and drag it up a wee bit so I can still increase it in size. Lost the menu now. Up, 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 up down a little bit so the S comes back. There we go. And then click anywhere else 
and that should be fine. That is now flowers written in black on a yellow background, nothing in the background. Now what's happened is if you look over here you'll see that we can switch that off and on too because the text goes in as another layer. And this is what gets confusing because in order to delete the text and leave a hole in the yellow layer you've got to combine them first. And to do that you need to right click on that menu and it says down the bottom flatten image. Now you can't see that because it's off window. So let me drag that up a wee bit and I've right clicked and you can see it says flatten image. So we're going to right click on the layer menu and select flatten image. So right click flatten image. Now if you work in transparencies when you do this it says merge all layers into one and remove transparency. So if you had already made this image transparent that would be lost. So let me flatten the image and you see now that there's only one layer. In other words the text and the mustard background have been combined. Now the reason we want transparency is because if I take the text out it will show white behind it. So I'm going to add in here that from the layer menu we're going to look for the word transparency and we're going to do this magic thing called add an alpha channel. Now that's some technical computer thing that means we're going to put in transparency. So that's going to be layer, transparency, add alpha channel. And as you can see in the little white box it says add transparency information to the layer. Now suppose we didn't do that. Here's what happens. Click off it. I'm going to delete flowers. And here's how we do that. Let's put in the step and miss out the alpha channel. So I put in step 7 select by color with right click so let's show you how that happens go to our image right click anywhere select by color and select black and now you can see where it says flowers it's got a dotted line around it so that is now selected and we hit the delete key and it's gone but it's not transparent because we didn't add that alpha layer so let's undo that go back to the layer menu transparency add the alpha channel and just as we did before delete and now you see this checkerboard underneath that means that is now transparent we have now created a stencil layer okay and what we're going to do now is put our background back in and we're just going to shove it on top and then send it to the back. So we're going to add the background layer which will go on top and then we're going to send it to the back. So let's add the background layer. So over here, click and drag, drop it in and you can see that that layer from the layer menu here has gone in on top. And if we switch it off, there's our stencil switch it on, on off, on off, so switch it back on and we want to send it down a level so with that layer highlighted in blue we click the down arrow which will lower this layer one step in the layer stack. Hit that and it moves the picture of the flowers to the background leaving the stencil with a cutaway transparency in it and that's what we want to achieve. Now just before I stop, here's another little trick. What we could do is to right click and flatten the image again. I'm sorry, you can't see that, but it's right click and flatten. There it is there. Flatten the image, so that's now 
back to being one layer and we could use that same trick to right click select by color hit the yellow layer and delete now again it's white because when we flatten the layers we take out transparency so undo layer transparency add alpha channel right click select by color hit the yellow layer delete it and now you've got the exactly the same effect but we've got it in transparency so you could add that on to another image by just copying and pasting so that's a handy thing too so you can have it with or without the background and you can change the color of that background too